What is transformation? Transformation means moving an object from its original position to a new position. In geometry, transformation refers to the movement of objects in the coordinate plane. Types of transformation. There are four types of transformation. Three of them do not change the shape or size of the original image, and only one type, which is called enlargement, changes the size of the original image being transformed. 1. Reflection. This type of transformation produces a mirror image, reflection, of an original image in which the mirror image is always the same distance as the original image from the mirror line and the reflection is the same size as the original image. In short, there are three components in reflection original image, line of reflection, and mirror image. Example If you look in the mirror, you see your own reflection. You, the object, and your reflection will be at the same distance and angle from the mirror. The mirror acts as a line of reflection through which your image is copied. Types of reflection The mirror line or line of reflection can be in any direction. You just need to reflect the object or shape on one side through to the other side. 1. Horizontal reflection An object is flipped over horizontally to make a horizontal reflection and in a horizontal flip or reflection, the left side becomes the right side and the right side becomes the left side. 2. Vertical Reflection An object is flipped over vertically to make a vertical reflection, and in a vertical flip or reflection, the top side becomes the bottom and vice versa. Example Horizontal Reflection Example Mirror Line Vertical Reflection Example Find the mirror image of the example. As we know, the mirror image is always the same distance as the original image, so an object and its image are always at the same perpendicular distance from the mirror line. Perpendicular means at right angles to. Step 1. Measure from points A, B and C to the mirror line. Step 2. Measure the same distance again on the other side starting from the mirror line and then place a dot. Step 3. Connect the new dots up. Step 4. Label the points at the mirror image. 2. Rotation Rotation means turning around a center. You can rotate an object around it, anywhere between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. When we rotate a figure a certain degree around a point, the distance from the center to any point on the shape stays the same. Basic Rules To rotate an image, you need to know the following things. 1. Angles 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 360 degrees 2. Direction Clockwise, anti-clockwise 3. Center of rotation Center point Example Rotate shape by 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the center, point O. Place the original image on the scale and check which side the shape will be rotated. As we need to move 90 degrees anti-clockwise, the shape will turn towards 180 degrees. When you rotate the image by the origin O, the new rotated image will look like this. 3. Translation To translate a shape, you can move it up or down or from side to side, but you cannot change its appearance in any other way. In other words, Translating an image is like sliding an image. When a shape is translated, each of the vertices, corners, must be moved in exactly the same way.
Example, translate the shape six units to the right and then seven units up. Step one, translate or slide the shape six units to the right. Translating six units to the right means that each corner point of the shape must be six units to the right. Start the counting from point A and move six units to the right and mark this point. Step two, then start from point B and move six units to the right and mark the point. Step three, then start from point C and move six units to the right and mark the point. Step four, now join all the points, then you will see a translated image of the original image. Four, enlargement or resizing. This involves resizing of the object. It could result in an increase in size, enlargement, or a decrease in size, reduction. When you resize a shape, it gets bigger or smaller, but it still looks similar. Rules 1. All angles stay the same. 2. Relative sizes are the same. For example, the face and body are still in proportion. 3. Enlargement is described by its scale factor and the position is described by the center of enlargement. 4. The position of the enlarged shape is described by the center of enlargement. Scale factor. To enlarge any image, you must know how much the shape needs to be enlarged and this is called the scale factor. For example, if a scale factor is 2, then the side lengths of the new image will be twice or double the side lengths of the original image, and the scale factor of 3 means that the side lengths of the new shape will be three times the side lengths of the original image. If a scale factor is a fraction, then the shape decreases in size rather than increasing, and is still called an enlargement. A scale factor of half means that the new shape is two times smaller than the original shape. Example, reducing a triangle with a scale factor of two. Step one, draw a line from the center of enlargement to the points of shape. A line is drawn from point O through to point A of the triangle. Step 2. Extend the lines and draw the new points. Now extend the lines at the same length or distance from O through to points A, B and C. Step 3. Join all the new points. Points A, B and C are drawn so that OA equals 2 multiplied by OA, OB equals 2 multiplied by OB, OC equals 2 multiplied by OC.